Oh no. But how does that make it fall over? Oh, your foot got stuck. Watch. You didn't expect that. I gotta keep you on your toes every now and then. What's up, guys? Speed you Mike here. Today we're going to react to animations. Or, no. <laughs> oh. I'm a disaster. What the heck is ha happening? Sorry. I thought it was animations. I'm clearly wrong. Forgive me. Haminations. This if this is your first video seeing me, I'm sorry. I'm a mess. Why are we going to react to Haminations? Well, they've been getting recommended to me a lot, and I'm pretty sure it's the same for you as well. YouTube lets me search and, you know, see what my uh, subscribers are looking at, and a lot of you are, are watching Haminations, and uh, not only that, but shout out to my boy, Robert I Don't Know. He hates it when you call him that. Yeah, Robert IDK's also been reacting to them as well. Been a while since reacted to some true story animations, and uh, they kind of have a few videos that might fit the bill for that. Like, I almost died three times with the Grim Reaper squeezing me. And it sounds relatable, so let's watch it, and maybe I can uh, say my times I almost died as well. I'll link their channel down below, check them out. It looks like they're killing it, so I'm excited. I almost died three times, four times. Ah, yes. A nice Life day. is good and needs to be cherished. You see, I almost <laughs> died just now. We must be grateful for the time we have because at any moment we can. Hi there. This is almost just as dramatic as the uh, animation that uh, that I have on my channel about YouTube almost killed me. If you haven't seen that, you need to go check that out as well. Wait a minute. How old are they? This is three, this is three years ago. They sound kind of young. I'm pretty sure they get that because their most popular video is I look young, so. How I have sat on the fence betwixt the worlds of life and death, uh -huh. and be it by fate, be it by luck, be it by some otherworldly power that my soul was spared from almost certain death, would you like me to illuminate the moments where the scythe of the Grim Reaper scathed by me? I would. An inch closer and my very soul would have been expunged? How- Wow, these big words? I don't understand these big words. I'm too stupid. You gotta say uh, something very simple, okay? How one moment was the deciding factor in a child's fate. To be or not to be was held in the balance of a single, fleeting moment. And should one misstep be taken, the scale would tip towards not to be. Well, maybe don't tightrope across volcanoes. Have you ever thought of that? I'm just saying, life advice, don't tight rope against vo across volcanoes and you might not almost die. But then it makes for good clickbait. Hmm? Time I stubbed my toe and I almost died. It sure feels like it. Did I survive because I was lucky? Because a fluke prevented my life from going out in a different universe? I feel like every universe, day like this happens to people. It's like, it's kind of just like luck. <laughs> luck or fate. It's for you to decide. Ooh, dramatic. All I can do is tell you what happened. All I can do is show you how my soul was spared. Okay. Okay, this should be fun. Gather <laughs> around, children. <laughs> uh, dude. Enough. What is wrong with these kids? The 13-year-old kids, of course. <laughs> Tell you about the times I almost died. All these stories okay. actually took place in North Carolina between the ages I've never of been four there. and nine. And after that, I never almost died again. <laughs> never almost died again. <laughs> so I guess Those I was just wild. the kind of sentences I'd be making, man. Yet. Hopefully not. I'm just saying. Holden for those five years before I chilled out. So there, me and my family were watching a movie together. Mm -hmm. We had just. And then the <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just wondering what <laughs> literally what's gonna happen. Because like, okay, all right. I'm not gonna try to cause you panic and worry. But what I think about, and I think about it more often than I probably should. At any point, a meteor slash airplane could crash into your house at any time, right? It's like, I didn't need to know that. But you know, I can't be the only one that thinks of things like that. Or worse, what's worse than that, I think they empty out airplanes over in the sky and then like a pile of freaking doo-doo hits your house. Actually, I don't think, I don't know if they really do that, but I heard that somewhere. I'm sure it's true. That's what scares me and what keeps me up at night. But kind of skinny. It was also on carpeted floor, meaning it was a little bit shaky. I should get this thing anchored. I really don't. And it's like the same exact thing. <laughs> it just falls on me. No, I've actually heard about this a lot with children. It's very sad, actually. Like, right now, if there's children in your home, are you a child? I don't... Whatever. Tell your parents to make sure that these things cannot fall. It's, it's actually really sad. It does happen a lot. More than it should. The solution for this was bolting it into the wall. But we had not bolted it in yet because... You just moved. I don't know if you know this... 
but there are actually a lot of other things that have to be done when moving into oh, a so house. Oh, so you just and moved. the cabinet into the wall is not the top of the list. It only should it's be. It's right below feeding the children and giving them a place to sleep. Feeding the and gremlins. Bolt cabinet. Find bed for gremlins. I would argue the bolt cabinet should be on the top of the list. Anything that's in immediate danger should be fixed for sure. Feeding the children and giving them a place to sleep. And keep in mind, they were not getting any help from me because I was four. If anything, I was messing everything up. Yeah. Anyways, as I was laying down, I was grabbing the bottom of the yeah, shelf see, kids, and opening and kids closing love it with my to climb things, My mom, man. who was folding everyone's laundry, uh -huh. said, Bryson, don't do that. The cabinet could fall. It isn't bolted in okay, yet. Okay, so she warned no, you. No, thought little Bryson. I will not stop. Oh, no. But how does that make it fall over? Oh, your foot got stuck. Watch. Ah! Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> uh, that scares me. It scared me so bad, dude. I, I did not expect it to go down like that. All right. I can see why so many people watch. This is good. Are you okay? <laughs> I mean, it's probably, if it's a true story, it just, I'm sorry. You made it so funny. Hey, Bryson, you good? And then no, it exploded. that didn't happen. Oh. I mean, the shelf did fall, but there's a twist. <laughs> As mom was folding what? laundry, she had subconsciously placed the baskets around oh, me the, in such wow. a way that when the cabinet oh, fell, that's crazy, the actually. baskets caught it, saving me. But I totally thought that I had died. Yo, because like, when the cabinet fell, it created a big gust of wind, and the doors opened, and all the CDs oh. fell onto me, making more wind rush past my face. Whew. I thought that this wind was I the see the lights. Well, thank God there was only CDs in there, because usually people have, like, books. I mean, God knows what. Plates. Like, whatever. <laughs> There's just a cabinet full of knives and rabid raccoons. <laughs> that's why I keep the raccoons, man. Okay, well, that's their first story. Do I have a story where I've almost died. I'm sure there's something. There's gotta be something. I'll have to think about it. Yeah, I almost fell out of a car while it was moving one time. Could have been bad. Yeah, we were like going to yard sales on a Saturday morning. I was with my grandma. They were turning the corner and uh, I think I was wearing my seatbelt. So always wear your seatbelt. But the car just came open and it was like on a turn. I could, I was little, so I could have tumbled out. Little BG Mike tumbling down the street. It's not very dramatic, is it? Also, when I was little, I did lots of backflips off my roof of my house onto a trampoline. So I could, I could argue. I think I could argue that I almost died many times in my life. It's just, a, it's a miracle that I'm even here. ...of my soul flying up to heaven. It's like those memes where you just like uh, teleport to <laughs> heaven. Bryson, are you okay? Is he dead? Am I dead? Oh, he's not dead. Brody, stop. <laughs> so this other time, is Kyle, that brother? who was engaged to my sister at the time, Kay. dared me to stand on his hands so he could lift me all uh, the way up. Oh, let me guess, ceiling fan. Fun. Silly fan. He was older, therefore all knowing. So I said, okay. Yeah. So Kyle, who just was because like someone is older than you does not mean that they have good advice. In fact, most of the time they do not. People don't really start maturing until they're maybe 30, I would say, but don't trust them. Paul lifted little four foot Bryson up. Uh -huh. His arms were fully extended, I don't see which a added fan. like an extra two feet. Okay. So my head was 12 feet in the air. Yes. And to a nine year old, that's basically in space. Yeah. Anyways, I would argue, as I'm yeah. up there, I lose my balance. And you fall. I tried to use the wall to stabilize myself, and then that but pushed I failed him away. instantly, and I fell down head first. Kyle watched me falling to my death and activated his marine powers to catch me by the ankle. Oh, thank God. And I kid you not, there were six inches of clearance between the floor and my head. Had Kyle been one second later, I would have totally died. Kyle later told me that as I was falling, he thought, I can't enter the family like this. Hey guys, I'm so excited yeah, to- that, that would be awkward from then on, you know? I would say pretty dang awkward. For me personally, I like, like I have nephews, right? And they're very small and I do not play with them like that. In fact, I am more than a parent than anything. They like to climb my trees outside and stuff and I'm like, get down, you're gonna hurt yourself. You know what happened to me that made me so careful? It's when I decided that, huh, let's go to a trampoline park and see if I can do two front flips in a row you know, at once, in the air. I could not. You know what happened? I broke my ankle in three places and I had to get surgery with all kinds of metal in my ankle. And that's still there. And guess what? It's very, it's, it's very painful when you sit on your ankle wrong. And it, it's, it's very weird. I don't know how to explain it. And so I can argue also then, I probably almost, uh, you know, kicked the bucket there. And honestly, ever since then, I don't do st stupid things anymore. I don't even want to ride roller coasters anymore. And I did that. But and now I'm like, I, you know, I don't care too much about them anymore. Finally marry Brittany and be part of the family. I love you guys so much. So anyway, I killed <laughs> Bryce. <laughs> nice. 
Brody, stop. <laughs> Bro, this reminds me of Family Guy. Like, that's something that would happen on Family Guy. This next story is the real reason I made this video. Uh -huh. Because it was the most dangerous. Okay. You could argue that I would have survived the other two stories. I mean, those were other- those that are pretty cabinet dangerous. That would only have broken a few bones. Or, you could survive falling 12 feet directly onto your head. You could. Maybe. But this next story is the real deal. I would 100% have died. Okay. Cool. Brody! Stop. Mom and Dad weren't home, and it was raining outside. What the My heck? brother Brayden must have been no, poor. I don't, I don't know what's going on over here, but uh, it's a blank picture for you. So he told me to come with him across the street because... 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 Okay. Anyway, we crossed the street uh -huh. in the rain when all of a sudden, lightning struck nearby. Oh, no. The sound shattered oh, my the God. And shook me oh, my door. God. This is so only... crazy. It's so crazy because lately I've been terrified of this. Just like last year, there was like three news stories of people getting struck by lightning. There was a, a lady that went out and uh, she was walking her dogs and bam, just like that. And, you know, I don't know if her dogs made it either. And that was like sad, terrifying. There has been many times where people get struck by lightning and survive, but. I don't want to test it. Okay, so when, whenever the weather's bad, I won't even go outside. It's crazy when you become scared of all of a sudden. When I was little, I would just play in the rain. I would literally go swim in the gutters that filled up with rain water. I don't know what's wrong with me, but now I'm terrified and that could have happened. So I can definitely see where this is going. Only like five, so this really scared me. Uh -huh. I started crying and running back to the house. I ran then to the your middle hair started of the road standing when up. suddenly my foot planted to the ground and I froze where I was. Right then, a car sped right in front of me. Oh. I was shocked. There was a car. But I unfroze and ran into the safety of the house. I watched through a window as a very scared Brayden walked back to the uh, house. And don't, don't. He had watched me almost die, after all. Just then, the car that almost hit me pulled in front of him, and the lady driving the car scolded Brayden and yelled at him for my mistake. Which was super rude, yeah. because one, I mean, it wasn't she... Brayden's fault. And exactly. two, that lady was the one going way over the speed limit in a neighborhood. Not only that, but you're supposed to slow down in the rain. Like, you're supposed to at least go five miles slower. Five to ten miles slower in the rain. So, like, she was wrong on so many accounts. Brayden came back to the house, and things started to calm down. But I started to think about what had just happened. I really thought then you were going to get struck by her. lightning. <laughs> Why had I stopped? I was running to the house, and I hadn't seen the car, and I had no intention of stopping. It felt like I had been stopped. Oh, wow. And I stayed there for a solid second, and had I continued running in that second, the car would have totally hit me. Yeah. So That's the crazy. question remains, was I stopped by some guardian angel, or was it just luck? I don't know. But whatever it was, I'm glad I'm not dead. That's relatable. Me too. Yo, that's crazy though. Yeah, why did you stop? Like, assuming that is a true story, why did you stop? Yet. <laughs> oh, perfect pause. I love the humor. I gotta say, I'm a big fan already. The humor is really my kind of humor. Just random explosions and just... I think the randomness is what gets me so bad. Like, that, that shelf falling was so surprising. Now, I don't think I have any stories about almost getting hit by a car. But when I was little, I was I was stupid. Let me tell you. It's because we were really poor. I've said this before. I, why am I rhyming? I should release an album. I, so anyway, what does that have to do with anything? When you're poor, you I feel like you, you're just... You think you're indestructible and you do absolutely the dumbest things because there's so many factors that go into it. Like, parents not watching you and you just thinking that, yeah, no, no supervision is basically what I was trying to say. So I was at a friend's house. I'm guessing we were like spraying each other with a water hose because that's just what she did. Probably it was like during a summer or something like that. So I had like, I didn't have a shirt on and I had like this towel around me. So it didn't look like I had it in clothes. And for some reason I was playing in the road because again, that's just what you do. Don't do that though. And as a car was going down the road, like I was in the road, it was coming towards me. You know, I was kind of standing out of the way, but it was going to pass by. I thought it would be a great idea to kind of touch the car while it went by. And I did that. I like touched the back of it. Well, apparently they, I guess, thought that, that maybe they hit me or something like that and they stopped. And the person that got out was a classmate. It was like their parents and a classmate. Like, what are the odds of that? Like, I, I, I knew, like, I went to school with them. But I wasn't like friends with them or anything like that. But they, they got at me and they were like yelling at me. And I don't even remember what I said. Like, yeah, think it back. That was very stupid to do. But yeah, it was kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the moral of the story is, but just don't do that. 
Several Brysons were almost harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> Please subscribe so he doesn't die from taxes. Yes. And also follow his Twitter <laughs> and his Instagram. All right, I will subscribe. I'm a big fan. This is this is great. So have you had any close encounters? I'm sure many of you have. I mean, there's thousands of you. Leave a comment down below. Is there any times where like you had some close calls and or any funny stories? I would like to hear it. And yeah, go, go check out Haminations if you're, <laughs> or should I say Hanimations? Hanimations wouldn't be a bad channel name either just gonna say that so yeah i will subscribe so that way you can pay your taxes because uh with how fast you're growing i'm sure you're gonna have them and yeah let me know if there's any other like videos by uh haminations you'd like to see me react to or any other you know channels for that matter and yeah subscribe if you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one bye now